What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in to Honest Diecast. Today we are back at the customization station and I am going to put together a video that has been much requested. We are going to put together a video on how to polish your cars in preparation of if you just want to polish the car or if you want to use the Spectra Flame. And then in the next episode we'll go over the process to Spectra Flame a car without using an airbrush. So I know you got a lot of you guys are looking forward to that as well. So let's get started. And today's test subject is going to be a 57 Chevy that I stripped a long time ago. As you can see, it is at the brushed stage. If you do not know the process to get to this point, um, there is a video that I made. Uh, it should be in the corner right about now. So definitely check that out. It's gonna show you how to strip the paint and also uh, clean it up with a wire brush. But before you even get started with this process, you definitely wanna make sure you're at this point uh, to get started with this. So the materials you're gonna need, you're gonna need some hand strength, some hand dexterity. Uh, you're gonna need various sandpaper. You're gonna need uh, 400 grit sandpaper. You're gonna need 600 grit sandpaper. You're gonna need 800 grit sandpaper. And then you're going to want 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000 grit sandpaper as well. You are going to want some rubbing compound or some polishing compound. And you're going to want a rotary tool, like a Dremel, with a applicator wheel, a buffer wheel, uh, to apply the rubbing compound to it. That's gonna be your final step. You'll want some gloves. And you will also want a small dish of water if you are wet sanding um, and a spray bottle will come in handy as well. So I won't talk through all of these steps and all the processes, but I will go through this first one for sure uh, because it is the most important step. Uh, you're gonna start out with the 400 grit sandpaper. Um, as you can see, this casting is very, very rough. It's an older casting. There's lots of imperfections in the casting, so this 400 grit is going to try to get as much of that stuff out as we can, which is what we want. So, we'll start by dunking the car. I always prefer to wet sand. And we're going to start sanding. You definitely want to be most thorough with this, pro with this step. As I mentioned, it is the most important to get the surface, to cut as much of the material off of the surface as you can. And we're gonna do this throughout the whole thing. You can already see it's getting a little bit shinier. And it is starting to take some of, that, some of those surface imperfections off. And just showing the door. The doors are really bad on this one. So there's, here's the before. And yeah, try to get some of the water. So there's the before. You can see all the imperfections in the door. And then we're starting to get some of them out. So we're definitely gonna wanna go over this casting a couple times with the 400 before we move on to the next step. All right, so this is after about 20 or 15, 15 20 minutes of sanding with 400 grit. Um, I am going to go over it one more time. As you can see, there is some, the imperfections are still there. Uh, they are smoothed out. I am confident that the later stages of sanding will help take these out. Um, as well as the paint will cover up these small imperfections, but I want to do one more layer. So let's do that and then we'll move on to the next stage. So 
So this is the final product after the 400 grading. Um, as you can see, lots of pitting, lots of imperfections on this casting, which are still there. Um, the casting is smooth though. So at this point, I'm confident that the preceding steps, as well as the paint, will actually conceal these imperfections. So I'm going to move on with the process. Um, if you don't feel comfortable with this, if you have a casting that has a lot of imperfections on the side like this one does, um, you're, what you're gonna find in the older castings, you can start over and move down to a 320 grit, which will probably take a little bit more of that out. Um, but at this point, I am comfortable with where the 400 grit has left us, so I'm gonna move on to the 600 grit. All right, so here's after the 600 grit sandpaper stage. Um, imperfections still a little visible, the pitting on the side. Again, I'm not really worried about it. I'm thinking that these final stages and the paint will be enough to cover it up and make it look decent. And if, even if it doesn't, I'm okay with that. So uh, you can start to see that shine really starting to come through. Um, and the surface is very, very smooth. So. You definitely want to you want to take your time and do do the best job on the 400 grit and the 600 grit stages um, to get a very good result up until this point because once you get up to 800 grit and higher, uh, you're really starting to get into the finer sanding um, as far as the imperfections go. So you definitely want to make sure that those first two are good. So let's move on to 800 grit and see how it looks. All right, so here's our product after the 800 grit sandpaper. And as you can see, that shine is really, really starting to try to come out. It's looking good. Happy with it so far. So now we'll move on to the 1000 grit sandpaper. Uh, this marks where we really get into the more micro sanding. Uh, it's gonna start taking out a lot of the smaller imperfections and scratches. So let's get to work. All right, just finishing up the 1000 grit stage. So let's see how we're looking. So not looking too shabby. This car is getting, um, it's going to get spectra flamed and in the next episode I'll go over on how to do that. Um, so it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but again, if you run into a really rough casting like this one and you have to have a perfect shine and you're probably going to keep it polished, then I would recommend probably uh, starting off with a rougher grit like a 320 grit because uh, there is still some, some imperfections here as you can see. Um, but this doesn't bother me. They've come out enough to where I'm comfortable that uh, these last two stages will cover uh, cover those up quite well and then uh, the final the compound uh, polishing stage will cover them up and then of course the paint's going to go over them so let's move on to 1500 grit and here is the product after the 1500 grit sanding very 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 smooth a lot of the surface imperfections are out very, very nice. 
So let's get the final stage done, the, uh, the 2000 grit sandpaper. Let's run that over this and then we'll be ready for our final process, which is the application of the rubbing compound and the buffing. All right, guys, here's our final product after a long bout with sanding. So very, very nice, very, be very much better than what it was when it was just brushed steel. Uh, we have one last step to go. We are going to polish this using our rubbing compound. So uh, let's get started. Let's apply some of this to the brush. We'll be using our rotary tool and uh, let's check it out and see how nice this thing comes out. And there we go, folks. There is the finished product. Fully polished body. Very, very bad casting. <laughs> so we still have some of these, these imperfections in the casting. That's okay, I'm okay with it. But if you are definitely shooting for a flawless casting, um, I would definitely recommend either stepping down to the 320 grit sandpaper um, or possibly trying to use a different one. So this doesn't bother us because we will be coating this in a Spectre uh, Flame green paint and using the 2K clear over it. So that will be our next episode and our continuation on this tutorial. So hopefully you found it, uh, found it interesting, found it helpful. Uh, definitely a lot of work, so definitely set aside a, a couple hours to get this done. Um, but yeah, this is the first step into Spectre Flaming a car with a mirror, mirror finish underneath. So very, very nice. Looking forward to coming back and showing you guys uh, how to paint this vehicle. Um, and we will be painting it with Spectre Flame that does not require an airbrush. Should be something similar to this, which is a 930 RWB that I did in a Spectre Flame Red. This has a fully polished surface under the bottom, so came out very, very well. And hoping for the same results on this 57 Chevy. So definitely stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, we'll go ahead and give this baby a coat of paint. Um, show you the cleaning process as well. We're gonna leave, we're gonna leave off the video from here. We'll go over that all on the next episode. So hope to see you then. And until then, we'll see you next time.